Hello, Rob McNeely here again, and welcome to day six of the free four-week program, Creating Connections in Hypnosis. So, people come to see therapists, come to see us, because they've got a problem. So we need to talk about the problem. And if we just say, what's the problem, sometimes people will tell us. There's an apocryphal story about Groucho Marx, who was an hour and a half late for a dinner talking engagement. When he eventually arrived, the host said to him, how come you're so late for this, uh, this talk? You were, you were supposed to be here an hour and a half ago. And Groucho Marx is supposed to have said, well, on my way here, I met someone and they asked me how my family was, and so I told them. So sometimes if we just say, what is the problem, we can be there for hours, days, weeks, months, even decades. So we have, to, we have to find out what's brought the client to see us. And so if we can say what's the problem in a way that's going to be helpful to us, to the client, to the process, it's worth exploring. So here are some variations on what's the problem. We can say, what would you like to talk about here that would be useful for you? What could we talk about that, that would make a difference to you? If we could do something today, if we could achieve something in this conversation that would make a difference to you, what would that be? What is it that you were hoping to get out of this session today? If we get to the end of the session and you say, that's what I came for, what would that be? So do you see all of these questions are a variation on what's the problem, but they are a reworking of that question in such a way that when the client responds to the question, already they are starting to move towards a solution, starting to move towards something useful rather than just a talking about what the situation is. So, here's a very simple exercise. When next time a client comes to see you, uh, instead of saying what's the problem or what brought you here, ask a question with that presuppositional element that has a, a bias towards usefulness, a bias towards a solution. And play with the variations and see what you can come up with some variation of what could we do, what could we talk about today, that would be useful, that would be helpful, that would be beneficial, that you might get some uh, benefit from. So have a play with that, ask the question in that way and see what difference that makes to the response, to the situation, to the counselling session, to the outcome. And please leave a comment below or send me an email privately. And see you in tomorrow's call.